Hello， 大家好，我是 Asian Boss Q。有很多国际考试来测试母语非英语国家人们的英语水平，其中一个最为有名的考试称为国际英语语言测试体系，简称雅思。全球每年至少两百万人报考雅思，要么为了留学，要么为了工作经验，要么为了移民去英语国家。由于这项考试是为了母语非英语的人们量身定做的。那么你就会误认为这种考试会非常简单，比如说你来自哪里，你喜欢狗吗？所以这一期我们要让母语是英语的人们来解答一些雅思的题目，我们来看看他们是否能够轻松地解答这些题目呢 ？Should developing countries concentrate on improving industrial skills for economical gain, or should they promote educational reform first?、Um, oh, that's a tough one. Can you read it to me one more time? Okay. okay, so so it was like economics versus I don't know, education. They wanted like more industry uh, more or industry. more education okay. in developing countries. Okay, well I'm, I agree with you then in the in the aspect that fuck in the aspect right, that no 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 in the aspect that um. Safety standards are important when it comes to building people's homes. Who should be responsible for enforcing strict building codes? Industrial government bodies or private industry? Hmm. I really don't know much about it. Just generally. Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Is that something you can answer easily? <laughs> no. Not without thought. Uh, I think in go uh, government um, bodies, I think, as opposed to private. I'm Are you sure? Quite sure. I'm not quite sure on that question. Waste management is becoming an increasingly difficult problem to solve amongst rural cities. Do you think the current process of landfill should be reformed, or should governments encourage different methods for citizens to increase sustainability? To be honest, I don't really know because I've, I've only really been to a few cities, so I don't really, I, I can't say, I'm not an expert on waste disposal, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, to be honest, I can't really remember the question. Oh, yeah, different methods to increase sustainability. <laughs> that word, say that word again. <laughs> sustainability. Sustainability. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I think they, they should actually... Um, look at different ways to, to manage waste, but it's not an easy question to answer. Would you be surprised to know that the question that I've just asked you is actually for IELTS, which is a test for non-native English speakers? Oh, really? Oh, wow! Uh, that, How do you feel about that? Uh, it's a bit ridiculous. It's a little bit too difficult, I reckon. Yeah, yeah it's a little bit ridiculous, actually. Yeah. <laughs> feel bad for them, they're Can not going to get in. Yes, I believe that it's very hard for non-English speaking people to comment or uh, to answer these questions. <laughs> Extremely complicated questions and things that, you know, even I would struggle to answer that. You know, I had to get you to ask me that twice. If English was my second or third language, I'd feel like I was drowning with those questions, you know? <laughs> Pretty difficult, very difficult. I can, because first you'd have to think about the question and then you'd have to try and translate the question and then you'd have to translate the context. It's a bit of a... Uh, setting them up to fail. I'm like fairly well educated, but I had to, yeah, process what you said. You yeah. think it's fair then? No, that's absolutely unfair. <laughs> I don't think they're very relevant to what they're going to be focused on when they're coming to immigrate to another English-speaking country at all. Like, do you think this is helpful for everyday conversation, for example? No, no. You have also taken IELTS? Do you have any thoughts on IELTS? Please leave a comment below and tell us your thoughts. If you want to see more similar videos, please subscribe to our channel. 谢谢收看，我们下期再见。